Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to enable update management on non-Azure VMs. Like we did enable update management on the Azure virtual machines. It can be Linux, it can be Windows, but how will we enable update management for the non-Azure VMs? Like there we have an connectivity to our on-premise data center through site-to-site -site or express out gateway and we have extended our on-prem AD to Azure. Like we have some of the machines which are still running on the on-premise data center and we want to manage the updates on them using update management. So how do we do that? Let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal and this is my uh, virtual machine that I enabled update management on but it is on Azure. And if you remember that uh, when I enabled update management from the portal, it it also asked me to enable uh, the log analytics workspace. So now what I'll do is I will go to my log analytics workspace that was created. It is so I created the a workspace default in the central India region and I used the automation account which was existing. If you have selected to use default automation account, it would have associated this workspace uh, with that default automated automation account. Now I have this uh, log analytics workspace here. Uh, well workspace itself is a different video series that I'm, I'll plan to make later. but under the related resources section that you see that this workspace is linked to the following automation account because I selected this automation account while the creation of a workspace. And if you will click on here, go to account, it will take you to the automation account that was is already there. But I don't, I want to go to my default workspace and uh, if you would click on the overview section here and it says, Get started with log analytics. It collects data from a variety of sources and a use uh, powerful query language. You can use the log analytics query language to query through your uh, workspace and gather the logs and query the logs as well. So if you would see that select one or more data sources to connect to this workspace. You can select as your uh, virtual machines and let's say I want to connect to my on-prem virtual machines. I will click on Windows, Linux and other sources. I click on it. It takes me that uh, attach any Windows server or client, Windows computer connected. It will ask you to download a Windows agent to make sure that you can connect your on-premises which uh, virtual machines which are not as your VMs to your update management, we have to first install the log analytics workspace agent onto those uh, servers or client. So I will install down uh, Windows Agent 64. I'll not install, I'm telling you how to do it. So if you click on it here, it will download the 64-bit uh, agent that you will install it. It is asking me to save here. I'm going to save this. And I will save it on my see MMA Microsoft monitoring aging setup, which is 64 bit. I'm going to install it. Okay. And uh, it is downloading. It will do. So when the workspace, when I'll, when I'm going to go to that, uh, let me show you. Okay. So this is it. I'm going to go to my desktop here and this is the setup that I'm going to run. So while executing, while installing this setup, this, this is my personal laptop. I'm just telling you what all options would you get. So it says welcome to the monitoring uh, agent setup wizard. You will click on next. You will click on I agree. And when you will install it, It says enable local connection, connect the agent to Azure log analytics, connect the agent to system center operation manager. I'm going to connect it to the OMS workspace, log analytics workspace here. I'm going to click on next. Now it's, it is asking me to enter the workspace ID and the workspace key and the Azure cloud. It is commercial. So I'm going to go to my 
portal here and this is the workspace id and the key i will enter it it here i'm going to click on next and it will connect my laptop to this log analytics workspace which i don't want to do because this is my personal laptop laptop so this is the way wherein you can uh, even the log analytics workspace uh, oms gateway would be connected uh, from the virtual machine that you want to connect to the update management then this machine will start reporting to this log analytics workspace and all of your update management data is going on to this workspace and then when this machine would be connected then you can uh, enable the update management onto that uh, non azure vm as well so if you have any queries you can mention them in the comment section i have cancelled the installation of my microsoft monitoring agent the, the one that i downloaded it from here and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day